It's 916 on this Monday morning. Thank you for staying with us. Everyone reacts differently in times of crisis. For some, the COVID-19 pandemic is causing stress levels to spike, which can have major impacts on so many things in our life, including our sleep. Sleep deprivation can negatively impact our immune health, which can make us more likely to catch the virus. So really a lot of issues there. So joining us this morning, clinical psychologists like Dr. Christine Caulfield with LSF Health Systems. Dr. Caulfield, good morning to you. Thank you so much. Good morning. And, and people really are having difficult times as it seems like for some, there is no end in sight. That takes a toll on a lot of people's mental health. It really does. The anxiety level is really very high for, for so many people, especially those that uh, have an anxiety disorder. And as you said, sleep is so important for us to maintain you know, healthy patterns. And for those that uh, are struggling, insomnia is, is really detrimental to, to one's health. Yeah, it really ruins the coming day and you just get out of sync there. What can we do to, first of all, cut down on our anxiety and stress levels during this very difficult time? And, and, and secondly, be able to sleep easier. Well, you know, it's very important to maintain a consistent sleep-wake routine. Uh, keep a regular schedule for going to bed and then waking up the next morning. Uh, this has been shown to help stabilize sleep patterns. Uh, certainly don't use alcohol to fall asleep. Uh, this is a self-medication strategy uh, that might seem like a good idea, but it really has negative long-term consequences, really causes sleep fragmentation and daytime impairments. We want to take work out of the bedroom. Uh, we want to have the bedroom uh, memorialized, if you will, for sleep. And so if you're working from home, find another place to work from a home office other than your bedroom. Plan your day and stay physically active. Exercise really improves our ability to have a good night's sleep, and uh, it's really important now to find ways to be physically active. It's interesting, Dr. Caulfield, that you brought up alcohol because that was something that I was going to ask you. A lot of people try to self-medicate to get through these times, and, and really what you put into your body alcohol, food, smoking has such a huge difference, not just on your overall health, but specifically your mental health. Absolutely. You know, alcohol is a depressant. So if you're struggling with anxiety or depression, uh, you might have a momentary feeling of, of high, uh, but when you come down from that, um, you're going to sink lower uh, because, again, uh, alcohol is a depressant. So we don't want to add that negative consequence into an already stress-filled day. Mm -hmm. And it, it's really difficult to get into a routine when you might be working from home. So many people are, are used to, you know, you wake up at 645, you get in the shower by 7, you hit the road by 730. And now if you're joining uh, conference calls from home, you, you don't have that motivation necessarily. And, and that can add to some of the issues here. So how do you set a proper schedule and agenda to make sure that you are disciplining yourself during these unprecedented times? Yes. Well, it, it, again, it's extremely important to have routine in your day, uh, a daily schedule, because right now we're feeling pretty out of control. And so we want to control as much as we can. And one thing we can control is our daily schedule. So as you say, get up at if you typically got up at 7 o'clock in the morning and showered at 7.15, keep those regimens going and um, keep your schedule with your conference calls, uh, perhaps uh, schedule in a stretch break, uh, some exercise activity, but have your day scheduled so that you know what you're going to be doing and you feel in control of that schedule and uh, this will lead to, again, better sleep patterns, uh, better feelings of less anxiety, and more motivation to uh, have a, a healthy day. Okay, Dr. Christine Caulfield, CEO of LSF Health Systems, we always appreciate you having on, uh, coming on our show, making our community better. Thank you so much for joining us.